What is up digital creators? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert anything on your website into a link and how you can create near instant page transitions when users navigate through those links on your web studio website. Diving into the builder, we are going to start off by grabbing the link component. We're gonna drag that onto our canvas. I'm going to change the color of the text so it's more visible. And I'm going to be creating a link that points to our community page. So having double clicked on the link, I'm going to update the text. Let's say, join the community. And I now want to add some styles to my link. To do so, I can change anything under the styles tab, or I can apply a predefined design token if you have already created the style that you want. In this use case, I have created a button, so I'm just going to call this button. With my new link created, I'm now going to define the settings of this link. So click on the settings option, we will then set our href. We can configure a href as a link, either to our site or a different site, map it directly to one of our existing pages, have it trigger an email, trigger a call, or download an asset. For our use case today, I'm going to link it to one of our pages. We can then define our target options. So do I want it to open in the same tab, different tab by parent or on the top? In this case, I want it to open in the same tab, so I'm just going to choose the self option and I can also configure my prefetch settings. The prefetch options are what allow you to have near instant load times on your Web Studio website. The first is we can define the prefetch by user intent. What this means is if a user hovers over the link, the browser will automatically load the destination page of that link so that when a user eventually clicks on it, there's no loading that needs to be done. If we set our prefetch options to render, the browser will automatically load the destination page as this page is rendered. And if we set our options to viewport, browser will load the destination page as the link enters our viewport. In most cases, you'll be using either viewport or intent for most links on your website so that a user has a fast experience when navigating throughout your site without overloading the browser with other pages to load. For simple pages and funnels that have very few links pointing to other pages, you can use the render option so that when the page loads, it simply begins to load all of the destination pages as you know a user will be navigating to them. For our use case today, we're gonna to set the intent option and I'll show you how this works. If we jump over to the preview and open up our console, you'll see that there's no activity on the page after the page is loaded. But as a user goes to hover over a link, you can see in the network tab that the browser is loading the new page as I'm hovering over the link to that page. And this is because I have set my prefetch options to intent. Back into the builder, I want to decide if there are any other components that I should add to my link. Keeping in mind, you can add any of Web Studio's components inside of a link element, and that will turn that instance of the component into a link. So if I decided to use an image, video, other text elements, or even custom code, when a user then clicks on that instance wrapped within a link, it will send them to the link's destination. And that's pretty much it. That is how we can convert anything on our Web Studio website into a link and how we can create instant load times when users navigate throughout our links. If you wanna have a crack at creating your own Web Studio website, our free account allows you to create an unlimited amount of websites for up to 10,000 page visitors. Thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.